Welcome back, you beautiful people. This video is going to be a little bit different, but first, I'm Blaze2K. Okay. I do gaming videos, tech videos, gaming news, restocks, um, 3D printing. 3D printing now. Um, and this video is going to be the first 3D printing video that I do. If you like these sorts of videos, please smash the like button down below. It really helps out the channel. Consider subscribing, clicking that bell icon. So, on to the project at hand. So, as you know, my beautiful wife got me a 3D printer for Christmas. And, um... Here it is here. This is it. Very cool. It's a Prusa, Prusa Mini, Prusa 3D, Prusa Mini Plus uh, 3D printer. It's super, super, super cool. I love it to bits. Love it to bits. It is awesome. And it actually just printed this little Onyx thing here. This movable Onyx figurine. I've, I think I dropped the, here, hold on, let me put this little spike head on. Here it is here. Oh, there we go. Onyx from Pokemon, and you can move him around. Really cool. It's printed to make like a little loop around each um, joint. Hence why it's so super posable. And it, I think it printed on the bed like this. Well, I know it printed on the bed. It printed on the bed like this. Um, and then I peeled it off the bed. And now I've got this. Super cool. How cool is that? Anyhow, we're going to be printing something PS5 related for this. Um... For my Steel Series Arctis 7X gaming headset, I want a place to put these. Usually, they're just laying on the desk, getting in the way of things. But now, I've got a 3D printer. I can make stuff. I can take care of that problem. And we're going to be printing a headphone stand. Not super exciting, but there it is. It's like a little clamp that goes on the desk. You clamp it to the desk, and it holds your headphones. Wham, bam, done. Okay. So we're going to get started on this. I'm going to put the time lapse up and I'm going to let you watch the time lapse of this little beauty printing stuff. Um, hopefully you enjoy it. And if you like this, if you like these videos, please smash the like button, um, subscribe, hit the bell icon and consider becoming a member by clicking that join button. Peace out. Enjoy the 3D printing time lapse. Let's go. So guys, before we jump into the time lapse and you get to see this cool thing be built, let's talk about what got us here. So... Thingiverse.com. It's a place where you can download 3D models of a bunch of different things. There's that Onyx that I actually showed you before. Um, but yeah, hundreds, if not thousands, if not tens of thousands of 3D models, free to download, that you can download and print on your 3D printer. There's loads of other websites like this, but this is my go-to. Um, so here's the headphone stand itself. Um, the, the creator of the, the print actually posts pictures of what it looks like in its final form after it's printed. There we go, very cool. And they show you the 3D model that are involved in making it happen um, you go down you download the specific 3d files that you want and then you once it's downloaded you open up your 3d printed software i'm using prusa slicer um basically it's a software created by the people that make this beautiful thing um you move your object you drag your objects into the program you place them where you want to pl place them on the bed um once that's done you can play around with the settings like the infill you don't want this to be 100 percent infill or it'll be really heavy it'll use a lot more filament and take a lot longer to print so i'm going to use 15 percent infill rectangular um, infill, which is basically just crisscross, and um, yeah, scale 100%, boom, I'm going to click the slice button, this slices it into hundreds of li different little layers, and there we are, it's going to take 8 hours to print, not bad, not bad, well, it's a long time, but trust me, time flies, so by later on today, we're going to have a finished 3D printed headphone stand for my desk, for my SteelSeries Arctis 7X, is that I use to play on the PS5 and PC, so let's get into this. So, we're going to export the G-code onto the USB drive. There it is. Onto the USB drive. We're going to click Save. And this file is the file that the 3D printer reads to print this file, print this model. So, let's go. Let's take the little USB drive out, plug it into the printer, and we'll get started, shall we? USB drive in. Let's go. Oh, and look, it pops up on the screen. So, see, it shows you on the actual 3D printer. That's what the model's going to look like when it comes, when it's printed onto the bed. Um, tells you the print time, the material, the amount of material it uses, um, the filament. Um, and yeah, all I've got to do is just press the print button and it will do its thing and it will print. So, guys, it's the moment of truth. Let's print that start button. So what it's going to do is it's going to heat up that little brass nozzle down there. It's also going to heat up the bed, so there's better adhesion to the bed. Um, and it should start... 
it should start once everything's heated up. Yo, oh, it's doing something. It's doing something. It's doing like a first a first layer calibration right now. It's just basically making sure it's hitting the bed at the right distance and getting ready to print. So it goes around, it taps several points on the bed just to make sure it's at the right level and everything using the little bed leveling sensor. Now it's heating up the, the nozzle to 215 degrees Celsius. It's going to be very hot, so you wouldn't want to touch it right now. And here it is. It's doing the purge layer. This gets rid of excess material on the nozzle from when it's like heating up and stuff. Sometimes a bit dribbles out, so it likes to wipe that off. And now it's looking like it's going to start the print. Let's go. Let the time lapse commence. Disco. So guys, it's finally completed. There it is. It's finally finished. Hopefully you enjoyed the time lapse. Here is the the finished part on the bed. Headphone, it's even got a headphone bit. Um, so yeah. So the great thing about this printer is that it has a magnetic bed. So if you want, if you look, I can just pop it off. See? Oh, there we go. The finished part on the magnetic bed. And then all you have to do at this point is just flex it flex it this way and boom easy easy peasy and then we'll just put this back on the, the printer for the next print boom good to go usually removing parts from a 3d printer bed or a, a, a bed on a 3d printer can be notoriously difficult um sometimes you have to get the metal scraper and scrape out scrape from underneath and stuff most printers don't have a magnetic bed so this is the benefit of the prusa printers is that they all come with a magnetic bed and it's super easy to align it boom and now we've got our little headphone stand which we're going to try and set up right now so the moment the truth sometimes you know the tolerances on these things can be very small so Let's put it in and let's give it a shot. Let's see if it goes in. Oh, oh, it's going in. It's going in. It is coming out. <laughs> awesome. So let's bring that over to the desk here. Um, and I'll show you my headphones. Clear the clear some space here. I'm not necessarily going to put it, keep it here, but just for demonstration purposes, why not? So let's put this under the desk. Let's tighten it up. Oh, oh that oh the grip's quite oh that's pretty solid. Okay. So there it is. Pretty solid there. I could tighten up a bit more underneath. It's got space for your cables. It's got space for earbuds. If you've got some earbuds you want to put in there, really good. Um moment of truth. Does it hold the Steel Series Arctis 7Xs? It does! Look at that! <laughs> Brilliant! So now I've got a place for them to sit. I wonder if I could do a double whammy, you think, and put my other ones on too. Here. Oh, look at that! It holds two pairs! Sweet! So I might actually put that. I might actually leave it there or I might put it over here next to the, the standing desk control panel. Super happy with that, man. It turned out perfectly. Or I might even put it on the shelf here for easy access over here. So there we go. The Prusa Mini, Prusa Mini Plus 3D printer. If you're gonna get a 3D printer, I highly recommend you get one of these Prusas because they're just so reliable. I mean, it's one of the few printers that you set once you set up and put together um, and turn it on you could it's one of the few printers that actually works 
right out of the box pretty much um once you once you get it all set up obviously um there's no hours and hours of tinkering there's no messing around with it leveling the bed underneath all that sort of stuff it's super simple and that's what i like about it and it's very polished the software is very polished as well so um love it love the prism mini um highly recommend you get one um and yeah i'll be printing more stuff if you like these sorts of videos please please consider clicking the subscribe button clicking the bell icon and liking this video if you want to see more and consider supporting the channel if you can you don't have to but it would really help me help the channel out help the channel grow and help me make more content um so oh yeah click the join button if you want to support anyways have an amazing day thank you for watching this video i really appreciate it and i'm super happy with this little 3d printed headphone stand how cool is that love it absolutely love it have a great day guys take care place to care